Hey guys, I'm back to Bambi TV. I'm going to be reacting to Candice Owen advice for young women shocks panel. Guys, let's get straight into this. What do you have for young women who turn to OnlyFans for solely financial reasons? What else could they do for money? Literally anything else. You're not going to have a life of comfort. You're not going to have a life of like whatever you see on Instagram. Mm. I mean, I slept on friends' couches. I actually had a friend, ironically, in Miami who like we were best friends all through high school went to a, a club one night and our, our luck somehow ended up with like meeting you know why clef and little wayne and, and she just turned the whole life and i remember i was so broke and she was living in like a condo in miami we were in our early 20s Whoa. i was visiting her coming from school and she gave up school mm. you know sleeping with everybody drake da, 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 you oh, know shit. just but she was living in like you know imagine i'm like 20 20 years old and she's i was 19 i think and she was living it just looked like she had so much you know and um where's she at now well i'm gonna i'm gonna update okay, you on okay, her story okay. real okay. quick right <laughs> and she was so innocent but then she just was effing everybody and every rapper was paying for her and i remember vividly crying on the phone with my friend named Devin, and i was just like it's so unfair she has everything and it's like of only i just slept with this guy like i could have everything that he has and he said candace if you think that in 10 years your life is not going to be better than hers, you're out of your mind. Mm -hmm. I promise you, stop being friends with her after I just couldn't look at her do this to her life anymore. And mm -hmm. 10 years later, almost to the day, I was with Charlie Kirk. We walked into the Four Seasons Hotel in Los Angeles, and she was the hostess. Wow, working. Wow. Oh, shit. So Damn. it's, you know, you make a deal with the devil, and then Who recognized guess him first? What? We, I mean, both of them, we were oh, literally best friends, yeah. okay. you know, like inseparable sisters and like the temptation, the money, the whatever from that one night. And she threw him herself at the rappers, too. Like it wasn't like one it was Wyclef John. Like yeah. It wasn't like he was yeah. being like she threw herself at him whole thing. And it was wild. And actually funny enough, then I went and started working out of school and I was working in private equity. And my boss got married, and he wanted to get Wyclef Jean. So I hadn't seen Wyclef since I, And then I saw him, and he said to me, I'll never forget this, in the elevator, I am so proud of you for where mm -hmm. you ended up in life. And, like, because you just knew that I was the friend that said no. Wow. She was the friend that said yes. And so when I say this stuff to women, I, I understand how easy it is, and I understand how hard it is to, like, get off your feet. And I was the person crying, being like, oh, my God, it could be so easy. But I'm telling you, like... It's just not worth it, you know? Like, it's not worth it. The person that you can attract, the there's just so much more to life. And I want all of you guys to just, like, hear that message and know that, like, you just don't have to, like, live in the fast lane, you know? Live in the slow lane. Isn't that crazy? We need to clip that and send that yes. to every girl that's 21 that wants to be a bottle rat and do all this, like, 304 oh, shit. By the way, Real talk, man. we had a, a girl on the show from Brazil. Remember, she was considering OnlyFans? Well, guess what? She did it. She made one. I wish she was here to hear, to hear that conversation. Because mm -hmm. she made her OnlyFans like two days ago. He's being broke, it, it feels so permanent when you're in it. By the way, I, I didn't, I, her friend told me. That's, that's, that's all uh, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. just, Sorry, just, you were saying, Candice? Candice, Candice like, when you're being broke, inside. when you're broke and you're in it, it feels like, it's just like, how am I ever going to like get out of this? But I also tell people, because my faith is intact, that looking in the retrospect, mm -hmm. every single challenge that God gives you, like he picks you uniquely for those challenges. You know what I mean? And I'm so grateful for being broke. I'm so grateful for like when I was mm -hmm. sleeping in my car, sleeping on someone's couch, sleeping in someone's closet, like just trying to like stay alive in New York because I know that it was like his perfect design to have me go through those experiences because there was something bigger at the end of that where like now I can speak with authority when I'm like talking to Destiny and he's like, are you lying about being poor? It was the dumbest question <laughs> I've ever had before. He was so dumb. Oh, um, oh, but yeah, I can oh. speak with authority because I've been there. No you know, problem. I'm not saying this. I think I'm better than you. Like I know what options face a woman when they're young, you know, but don't, don't do a deal with the I love that you said there's a choice because there's a choice. Women mm -hmm. choose some of these bad choices. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your advice for a young guy? This is a lot. Well, to be honest, I will say this. If you follow the right path, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Sometimes it might not be good. Like, you might not turn out to be the next Candice Owen, but like, you'll be happy. You have this fulfillment. Like, there's nothing sweeter than making your own money in a legit way. And spending it more like you can't tell what to do with this i end this bro no you just getting a hand out or you send your dignity to check out most phones that only like they can't be seen in public and and have they are not they're really, really shy they don't really have this charisma like they just feel timid in a kind of way and feel like everyone everyone knows me like everyone has seen 
what is classified as private. So it's more like you don't have any private, you don't have any private thing to yourself. And it's disgusting. I've, like if when you read or when you go through Twitter and you see some punters telling why they quit and how they feel when they stop acting or how they feel when people perceive them or see them as, as well. And to be honest, the money is fast, but the repercussion is worse. Guys, anyway, think about this video, just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys.